Hello everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Strife Veteran Edition on Elite. This is map 15, yes, 15, Fortress Administration. Alright, everyone, we have just conquered the security complex, and we are about to head to Administration, or Central Administration, whichever you prefer. And also, I found out that um, the thing behind this wall which uh, was revealed via that nope, nope. map I got, is just a teleporter that takes you back to the beginning of the map. And I still don't know how to nope, nope. actually open that thing. Uh, maybe it's a bug and it can't be opened. But either way, that's not important. Let us continue on to administration. Now, this map is going to seem very confusing, but again, trust me, it's not that bad. Just follow my path and you should be all right. Now, there's going to be a mix of stealth and non-stealth here, so just follow my lead as best you can. Let's see what this gentleman here says. What are you doing here? Routine inspection. All right, carry on. Thank you, Mr. Foreman. Goodbye. So yes, the goal here is to find the central computer and destroy it, which will take down all of the force fields in the Bailey. That specific force field is controlled by this switch. Well, that switch will not be uh, accessible till after we destroy the computer, and this door takes us immediately back to the Bailey. But, we have a bit of an adventure ahead of us for now. So let's just stealth our way past as many acolytes as we can. And we're going to go ahead and take out those two Templars before opening these doors. Because the sound is isolated for now, because the doors are closed. But before we do that, we have some more red armored acolytes to take care of. Now when you come up here... This switch will be revealed. Do not activate it yet because that will open those doors and therefore make the uh, make this room not sound isolated anymore. But since these guys think we're friendly, oh, let's just go ahead and uh, take the fight right to them, shall we? Oh, oh, sir, you attacked me. That stung. Not as much as that stung, probably. All right. And that takes care of the Templars. So this opening room is now completely free of enemies. Which means now... We can finally... Open those doors. And we shall go through these doors. Now the one you want to go through is the left one. So that's the way we're going to go. Just keep following the left path here until you get to this area. Which reveals another switch. And this switch... Opens these bars right here. Now, don't uh, reveal yourself past those bars. There is a Reaver and a Crusader over there. The Reaver will see you. The Crusader will not because he's facing the other direction. But that switch we just saw opens these bars. And then as soon as you cross that line depth there with the black and yellow stripe on the floor, these bars will seal behind you for good. Nothing can reopen them. So just be mindful of that. And then these bars will raise up when the uh, central computer is destroyed. But... Doesn't mean we can't go ahead and take out the guards. And look what we got in there. Field surgery kit, high energy, or uh, high energy, <laughs> high explosive grenades, and a box of bullets. Well, I am already a good bit low on my rifle ammo, so that will come in handy. But for right now, you, sir, can take a nap. I will take these from you. Thank you, sir. And let's throw that switch. And then cross the threshold here and get sealed inside. Now, we're about to approach the non-stealthy part of this map, but just keep following my lead, and you'll be a-okay. So, flip that switch to reveal this uh, elevator here. Matter of fact, I think this one's open, too. Yes. And I don't think it matters which one you take. They both lead to the same room. This door is locked for now, so don't worry about it. And then this brings you down to this room. So, there's a Templar down here, and then there are two more Templars up here and it's not entirely sound isolated because those windows there are open oh the sentinel in there saw me and in addition to the reaver and crusader in that room the one that i mentioned before with the other uh, set of bars in that hallway there's also a group of acolytes in there so well you know i think we can actually take out the yeah i don't think the acolytes will take notice until they actually see you anyway, so you know what? 
we can probably go ahead and take these uh, Reavers out. But before we... You know what? Yeah, there's this guy here. Let's go ahead and take care of him. This switch raises up a bridge out of the water that takes you to that door, which we do have to go to. But let's go ahead and um, de-reaver this place real quick, shall we? Take care of this half-human, half-robotic filth. Oh, sir, that stung me. Alright, awesome. And that Sentinel over there, I don't think he can get out of that room. We will run across him much later. So I'm not really going to worry about him for right now. That Reaver also cannot get out of that room, so I'll worry about him much later. He'll just make that weird robotic sounding growl and run around for the time being. And yeah, the innocents keep activating this elevator, so don't worry about that. That's not an enemy doing that. But, before we head out, let us go ahead and health up just a bit. I'm full on metal armor, I believe. Yeah, so I will save that for when we come back around, because I will likely need it by then. <laughs> but I will keep my 50% damage absorption for the time being. So for now... Oh, yep, I hear stalkers. They're, they're active now. That's okay. Your stealth was about to be broken anyway, so I might as well go ahead and take care of the more dangerous enemies first. Anyway, flip the lever inside that room, fall down into the water, and take it all the way over. Oh, yeah, that reaver already sees us. But take it over to here, and ride this elevator up to where that reaver is. Get your mauler ready. He's going to be ready for you. But it's right here that your stealth will be broken, because, again, the reaver's death explosion breaks stealth, so... Just get ready for it. But there's three or four stalkers in this hallway here, which actually leads us back to the room we were just at. <laughs> go ahead and punch these guys. There we go. And then if you go up this relatively tall elevator here, you will see that it takes us back up to this room where we went down this elevator and this door was locked from this side. Well, that is no longer the case. We can now go through this door as much as we please. But we are done with this area, so now we must head to the big ol' elevator. All the way to the tippy top. Now watch out, there's gonna be a turret up there, so I'm gonna get on the right side and hide from it as best I can. And I think the elevator will not head back down until I cross that threshold there, so we should be okay right here. Go ahead and blow up that turret. And there's gonna be two acolytes in this room, but first, a little bit of sit rep for Miss Blackbird. You know? From the outside, this place looks tiny. You got that right. Hello, acolytes. Go ahead and round that corner there so he can't pot shot me from behind. Now there's another turret on this upper ceiling here. Go ahead and take care of it. And then there's one more acolyte down this hallway. Now before you head down this elevator, be careful. There are two Reavers just below us. So go ahead and take care of both of them. And then as soon as you go down this elevator, again, watch out. Because at the other end of this big hallway, there is going to be another turret. Now granted, you are pretty far away from it, so it's going to be a lot more uh, difficult for it to hit you. But it can still hit you. He's shooting at me. But it's not quite enough. And I don't entirely remember where this door leads. I haven't actually checked. I think it just goes back to the central room where the uh, computer is. I'll have, to, I'll have to see that. But anywho, for the time being, there is nobody else in here. So let's just go into this room here. Get accosted by a couple of acolytes. This door leads to that central room. You can hear the reaver on the other side. But the door is locked for right now. This switch, I don't entirely know what it does. Does it disable the force field? Oh, it does. Okay. Where does it lead? Oh, that's right. It leads to this room. Okay, okay. So, yeah. In this room, no one knows that you are here. They're not hostile to you. So, just poison bolt all the acolytes. And then around this right side corner is... A reaver. 
So we'll take care of him. And, eh, nah, I'm not going to use those med kits. We'll just go ahead and scavenge the supplies that these very polite acolytes, also very dead acolytes, dropped for me. And then if you go into this door... Okay, yeah, we're not going to go there just yet. We're going to go the other way, just so we can keep our bearings. And then this elevator, I don't even know where it takes you. Down into this watery area. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. This actually takes you back to the area we were just in. So we kind of came full circle. So flip that switch to disable that force field over there, and then just come full circle down here. But down here... Go ahead and take care of that sentinel. These bars... Uh, this, this is a little shortcut from a future area, but these bars do not open until the central computer is destroyed, so no need to worry about it for right now. Let us just go once again back up into this room. And now that we have finally finished our errands in this room, we can go to the next room. Now, there's going to be one or two more acolytes in here. So our goal here is actually... Oh, here's the door that takes you back to this uh, room we were just in, by the way. Our goal here is to lower the water level and trip another switch in a hidden room. Also to grab the core key, which lets us actually access the core. But if you flip the black and yellow switch in here, you lower the water level, and then going inside here throws a switch, which I'm not going to lie, I'm not entirely sure what that switch does. Maybe it just reveals this switch right here, which raises the steps. But I think that switch we just pressed inside the hidden room maybe opens something inside the core room. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually not quite sure. Oh, oh, you know what? No, I think I know what it does. I think I know what it does. Um, okay, so if we go through the core door here. And then here. You see how that right area is open? I think that switch that we hit down there, I think that actually opens that wall, because this actually allows you access into the room containing that sentinel where there is a teleporter, and that teleporter takes you back to the other teleporter that we saw that was behind those bars, so I'm pretty sure that's what that switch's purpose is. Let's go ahead and take out the robots, and you know what? Let's go acolyte hunting as well. There's only a few of them in here. There's like four of them. And let us go this way. So there's only three enemies left. It's going to be a sentinel inside this room here. Who saw us way back earlier when we were in that room with the three uh, Templars. That room over there. And then the other two enemies are going to be acolytes that are guarding the central computer. But if you go through here, you can see we're in that uh, barred room with the other teleporter. But once we actually destroy that computer, we can use this as a shortcut out of here. Which is pretty cool. But, let us go room by room and see what all uh, is going on. Uh, but you know what, there's not really a point to using that teleporter because this is an even shorter, uh, a shorter cut <laughs> out of this area. These bars will open up when the computer is destroyed. Room 2, I believe, leads to the computer. And then room 3... Oh yeah, leads back to here, that's right. And I believe you have to trip that switch in order to... You know what? I'm actually not sure. Because the switch in there is what lowers the computer. Maybe this switch... Maybe this is what raises those bars. You know what? I have to check now. Does it also raise... No, those bars are still closed. Okay. What about the bars on the other side of this here teleporter? No, okay, hmm. Um, huh, then I'm not sure. Uh, but throw it anyway, because it's a switch. I'm thinking maybe it raises the bars in the starting room that that switch is behind that disables the force field uh, over the door that leads back to the Bailey. I'm thinking maybe that's what that unlocks, but either way, it's a switch. Activate it. Because that switch right there is what reveals the computer. Hey, boys, how you doing? Nice day we're having, eh? Anyway, take... A nap. Ooh, Let's blow it up. I agree. 
And there we go, the computer is blown up. And now the whole map has just opened up for us, look at that. But everyone is dead, the computer is destroyed, which means the force field guarding the way to the bishop is now down. I think you all know exactly what Come that... Come on, let's get the hell out of here. You ain't gotta tell me twice, Blackbird, now shut up. I suppose you know, or you all know exactly... How can I word this? You all know what time it is now. You know what that means, you know what time it is. It's bishop hunting time. But before we do that, I do want to go ahead and grab... Uh, which room was it? Down here. I do want to go ahead and grab that metal armor. Matter of fact, I think I'll also... Well, if I can make the jump. There we go. I will go ahead and armor up and resupply. Boom, just like that. And we're done. We're done with administration. Let us get the hell up out of here. Right this way, please. So what you want to do is you want to go back through the main hallway in the beginning area. And you can see now, this switch is revealed. Which means we can throw it. Which means this force field is down. And the Bailey is now fully accessible once again. So let's put our uh, loud weapons back up. And here we are, back in the Bailey. And I don't think there's anything to pick up in these towers here, where these Templars are. Pretty sure the answer to that is no. But, I might as well look anyway, right? Yep. <clears throat> nope, nothing of value in here. Nope. But we open the door. Ah, breathe in that fresh Bailey air, and yes. So that path there leads to the... Yeah, I keep forgetting there's a door right there, too. So that leads to administration. That door up there is where we're headed next. That leads to the Bishop's Tower. That area over there leads to the stores area where the Mauler was located. And then this leads to the security complex. So the Bailey is a hub for four different maps. That is crazy. But uh, you know what? I think I want to grab those... Uh, med patches up there. Now, how exactly did we get up there? Um, I think I know how. I think it was actually through this teleporter right here. Is there anything else in here I could use? Ooh, energy. Do I need that? I do. Awesome. And those grenades, too. I'll take them. And I will use two of you and collect two of you. Excellent. Awesome, awesome. Well, no more dicking around, everyone. It is finally time to get that second piece of the sigil and find out more about this whole... Well, the reason for all this, really. But as we now know, the bishop's office... Or the... <laughs> office. <laughs> the force field's down, off to the bishop's tower. Once he's dead, get back to the oracle. So, we must now hunt down the leader of this area of the order's... Uh, fortifications, the leader of the fortress, take his sigil piece and go back to the oracle and see what we got to do next. So let's do it. That is a very interestingly shaped door, I have to say. But whew, at last, we have arrived. Which means that is where this video will come to a close. So yes, that was administration, the final level inside the fortress hub b before the bishop's tower of course and definitely the most maze-like level now again if you follow the path that i showed you i'm pretty sure that's the best path that you can take um you should you should be okay and you know just keep your stealth up as long as you're able to you know break it when you have to and then just basically just mind your corners be mindful of your surroundings. Don't run in anywhere guns blazing. Because let me tell you, the further we get, the further we get along in this game, the more and more of those robotic enemies are going to show up, and they're going to be a lot more commonplace. Especially the Templars. Those things are just, ooh, those two or three levels I mentioned at the beginning of the series um, that I said were the only like really hard, challenging levels. <laughs> they're going to be very prevalent in in those challenging levels. Like Templars, they're going to be placed in such a way that. Oh, it's just, oh, it's evil. Absolutely evil. But we made our way through administration. We destroyed the force field controlling computer. It is now time to hunt down this bishop, get his sigil piece, and get our happy tunic-wearing asses back to the Oracle to find out what our next mission will be. 
But that'll be for next time, everyone. So for right now, that was Fortress Administration. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all have an awesome rest of your day. I am out of here for now, and on the next episode, we will finally, finally, after God knows how many levels, like what, five, six, seven, we will finally fight our way to the bishop and take the fight directly to that big hulking son of a bitch. So until then, you all stay safe, take care, tell someone you love them, and I will see you all next time. See you later, and get the hell out of my house.